Hello everyone, welcome to this unboxing video of Conan the Prize from Sideshow Collectibles. This is a diorama, um, it's not a premium format, it's not a comic cat or anything like that, it's a diorama. Uh, and that basically means that you have a piece here that features some kind of a setting or environment or something like that. Um, yeah, and uh, I got this piece from eBay. I'm really really pleased finally having this piece in my collection. Um, it's the best Conan statue in my opinion, so I'm, I'm really really happy. Now this is the art box, it didn't come with a shipper, uh, but it was still well packaged, so it did arrive safe and sound it would seem. And uh, here on the side you can see the statue and uh, the lady that Conan is carrying. On the back we have uh, a view of the full statue in its, in its full size here, and some description in the bottom here uh, of the piece. Um, yeah. And that's basically it guys, this is the other side. I'll just uh, go right ahead and uh, take out the styrofoam box and we'll see what it looks like on the inside. Okay guys, here we go. Now, this is a rather big box, but it's not as big as some of the other boxes that I've gotten from, from Sideshow, among others lately. So I'd say this is a normal size uh, box for this statue here. Uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and take off this, put it over here, and yeah, there we have him actually. He's not covered in any wrapping or anything. I bought I bought this on eBay, so I imagine the wrapping may, might have got gotten lost or something. But it doesn't matter because everything seems to be fine here, and he's still lying firmly secured inside the styrofoam box here. Now this is the uh, regular version of this statue. Um, and that means that this um, empty slot here is there because um, it's supposed to hold the exclusive sword that this statue also comes with. But it doesn't really matter because I'm quite satisfied. As you can see, we have the axe right here. And it's covered in blood and it looks menacing and I really, really like the look of it. So I'm quite satisfied having gotten the regular version of this statue. Now I'm just going to set up the zoom a bit so you can better see think that's okay. Now as you can see the details here are, are really nice and the blood spatter is, is really cool looking. I'm just gonna put it over here. Now there are some small bits and pieces that I'm gonna start with um, so let's just reach over here. This is some uh, cloth for the uh, lady that Conan is carrying on his back. This is made out of some kind of softer material. It's it's a bit flexible, um, and it has this. It's very very light. So yeah, I'm gonna have have a look at how to install this later, and then yeah, there's more of that also here. So there are two bits of this cloth thing made out of a flexible, um, transparent plastic material. I'm gonna put that over here. Then we have a little sword handle here. I think this goes into the back of Conan. I think he's wearing, uh, carrying this sword on his back. So it just goes in with this peg here. I'm gonna put that over here as well. And then we have, um, yeah, let's just take out the base now. And the base is really heavy, even though it's not that big. It's really, really heavy. And it looks really nice. Can you see it? Yeah, I think you can. We have this statue head here and a pillar that has broken or something. A skull and small details. It looks really nice. And as you can see, there's a slot here to uh, insert the statue, uh, the, the left foot of Conan here. And on the back or underneath, we have some writing. This is number 460 out of 1000. So yeah, I'm really impressed with the weight here. That's really the first thing that um, that comes to mind. But yeah, it's really impressive. impressive. I'm just gonna put it down now. And now let's see if we can get out Conan. Um, he's pretty tricky. At, it seems like it's difficult to find a good way to get him out. There's so many details and small bits and pieces here, so you have to be really careful where you grab it. And it's quite heavy as well. 
and there we go. I think I'm just gonna get rid of the box. And let's see now. This is really heavy actually. <laughs> and the details here are amazing. He's got a dagger here. He's got this lady on his back that have some nice details. And he's got this sword on his back with blood spatter on. And this is where the little sword handle goes in. And the peg on his foot here. It looks really, really nice. Can't wait to set this up so you can see what it really looks like. This is really, really the perfect Conan. I find that this Conan looks a lot like the one we see in the Dark Horse comics. So that's one of the reasons that I prefer this version of him. He's also got an axe here. All right, guys, let me set up my uh, turntable and the base and we'll uh, assemble this uh, statue. So just give me two seconds. All right, guys, here we go. Now, as you can see, I have cheated just a little bit by already placing Conan on top of the base here. And the reason for that is quite interesting, actually, because um, when I was setting up this piece the first time, I realized that I wasn't actually able to insert Conan all the way into the base. Now, there's a slot underneath the foot that I showed you in the previous clip. And then, of course, the metal rod that goes into a hole into the base. And what I experienced was that I wasn't actually able to insert the rod fully into that hole. So, um, and I, I, I really struggled with it and, and tried over and over, but I, w I really wasn't able to do that. And um, it actually came to the point that um, I dug up my old friend here, my uh, drilling machine from Black and & Decker. Um, and yeah, and then I used this drill head here to actually force or let's just say um, enlarge the hole that the metal rod goes into and uh, yeah by doing that very carefully and and very well gently I was able to actually expand the the insides of the hole at the very bottom and then you as you can see here I was able to insert the foot here fully into the slot where it's supposed to um, but all this hassle and all this drama uh, kind of makes me think that I don't believe that this statue has really ever been displayed because I can't imagine how you would want to do that without having this foot inserted entirely into the base because it, because the entire statue would be too wobbly. As you can see, it's it's perfectly fixed now, but that wasn't the case when I just had it hanging uh, halfway out. So. Um, that's an interesting little story. Um, normally I would be scared to death by introducing this guy to my statues. But uh, in this case I was kind of driven because I really wanted to <laughs> fix this situation um, immediately. And um, everything seems 100% perfect now. So I'm, I'm really relaxed now and I'm really relieved also that everything is as it's supposed to. So. Yeah, let's get back on track now. As you can see, I have everything set up here, or at least I have the statue set up on top of the base. And I'm just going to do this 360 so you can really see all the details and, and this unique statue in its full glory here. Now we do have these extra bits and they are kind of easy to put on. Uh, this handle here goes into this socket here with the metal rod and everything. So you can see he has this sword on his back. And then of course we have the uh, hand that is wielding the axe, which fits in with a magnet and a socket here, like they normally do. And it fits in perfectly and securely, so it doesn't seem like it's gonna fall off or anything. So that's perfect. Um, now for the lady, we actually have two bits here that are kind of tricky to put on. Um, these two pieces of fabric, well, it's not fabric, obviously, but they're supposed to look like some kind of cloth material. They're sculpted from this flexible plastic thing. And on her back here, she's got these four holes, which somewhat line up with the four pegs that are on these uh, cloth bits here. So this long one, I believe, goes underneath her arm. She's got a bit of dirt there. Um, 
goes underneath her arm like this, and then you can actually just force them into the holes here. Like that. And it adds this level of um, motion to this uh, display here. And the other one, which is the one that people prefer skipping because, well, for obvious reasons, because it's supposed to go here, um, it fits into these holes, holes as well. Actually, I'm, I'm going to leave this out, guys, because, um, well, for obvious reasons, I'm just going to leave it out. <laughs> and as you can see, this looks really, really nice. There's this really nice feeling of uh, motion in this display. It's definitely an action pose in, in the best meaning of that. Um, and I just really, really love the look of Conan here, but also the fact that we have this beautiful woman uh, on his shoulder here. It's just perfect. It's a perfect display, I think. Um, as I said, this is a diorama, which means it's not a premium format. It's not a maquette or a comic gate or anything like that. The reason that it's a diorama, I think, is that this is more than just a statue. This is this is a display. It, this is it gives you a sense of atmosphere, a setting or a scene from from a story. So I think that's the the reason behind it being a, a diorama. But I'm going to do a review, guys, of this statue, uh, maybe talk a bit more about the whole event of drilling into the base with my, my drilling machine. But yeah, everything is, is perfect, guys, so don't, don't be worried. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to have a re review up also and discuss all the details and all the, the, the love that I have for this piece and have had that for a, a great many years now. But uh, now I finally decided to pull the, the trigger and, and get this piece. Um, Alright guys, I think that's basically it for this unboxing video. Uh, I'm gonna end it here and save all my other thoughts now for the uh, review. I hope you enjoyed watching this um, unboxing. If you have any questions or comments, of course, go ahead and post them. Check out my Facebook page and also my newly set up uh, website. Um, you'll probably be able to find a link somewhere in the description of this video. And of course, guys, remember to subscribe and like and everything. It really helps out a lot with all of your support. So thanks a lot for that and thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.